Hi guys, uh, I wanted to react to uh, another video and I wanted to react uh, to a video called uh, Progress Billie Eilish uh, Mental Health Progress and uh, I wanted to react to Billie Eilish I think she is interesting character that can uh, spark a lot of interesting conversation not only her music but her choices of uh, outfits and her you know path in the music industry and I uh, saw a video uh, by Vanity Fair I guess uh, it was about it was her interview one year apart and she really seemed depressed and uh, you know out of um, like she feels that she's out of place and it's interesting topic too so uh, I want to look at that video uh, and discuss what we will uh, see there together like what are you doing I don't want to talk to a clone of myself I don't even like myself I really 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 hate myself you can feel so unbelievably lost and horrible and like you're nothing and you're invisible and for it's, uh, no reason at all, which is almost worse than having a reason it's the way that my brain works and it's like you know billy what's wrong i don't fucking know like me that's what and it's like who hurt you i'm like so annoying to feel like this all the time all the time and it's like if someone's like oh god you're so you fall apart so much, like, you're so annoying, like, you're always fucking, like, sad, I'm like, I know, I have to be in this bitch all the time, like, I'm aware of how annoying it is, the only yes, person, this is true, when someone, uh, really, uh, criticizes your, um, uh, decisions, and says that they, uh, uh, says that they, uh, stupid, or not, practical you like i know like you for you it's just uh, some side show that you can walk by and walk away from but for me i have to live with uh, uh, the consequences of my decision so believe me i feel worse because of my problems and i have much more reasons to frustrate about them than you and uh, about self-hatred and self uh, you know not accepting of yourself of course those things they are always in people's minds attached to teenage years and she's a teenager and it's really um it's amazing how much she already experienced in her uh, in her life but the way she feels I think the truth is that that's how feel that a lot of people at, at their 30s and their 40s and 50s feel too that this period this time period that starts when you like uh, reaching 14 or 15 those questions that rise at that age for the most people they never go away like stuff that like self-doubt stuff like i don't know who i am i don't know who i want to be i don't know what i am worth uh, all these questions they actually you grow older but they never get their answers Sometimes they never, like, a uh, person dies and without an answers for these questions. So I can see her appeal when she talks about it, appeal to teenagers. And, but the truth is she is, it's the same appeal to much older people. And for me, I'm 21. I, of course I understand what she says and about and this part when she says 
it's happening all the time all the time you it's like a prison built in your mind that uh, you know you're always inside it's not some smell that comes and goes it's uh, not waves a lot of times it's really permanent feeling of unease and stress and um, I can relate to that and a lot of people can relate to that too uh, I think that's a big part of her appeal it's uh, her interview in May 2018 the person that can change the way that I feel is me and that's not gonna happen so, you know there's all these perfect people and it's like well what's wrong with me like hey I really need help I really need help. I'm not okay. I need someone. <laughs> you see, uh, she th thinks about those perfect people, and there. Are... Oh yes, it's her interview from um, October of 2018, and in this picture here, I remember seeing her uh, on Fine Brothers channel, and I was so amazed by how beautiful she was, and. Plus, she was a great singer. Plus, she was she could dance, can dance on stage. Plus, she, you know, has all this fan base and all this fortune. And for me and for a lot of people, uh, at that moment and right now too, she is this per person that she talks about, but she doesn't recognize all these great qualities of her. And maybe even when those qualities. Uh, someone points them out she won't be able to feel like she's really owner of those qualities she can hear some words that describe her but inside uh, her feelings would not connect to those words I feel that like that too I uh, had people in my life that uh, came to me and said you know it's do you have problems at all? Well, it's like it was a question because I'm always really outgoing and uh, more on the loud side in society. And people who are feel stress uh, feel stressed in the, in in society and in university, they expressed those expressed that to me. That they, it seems like, it seems like I have no problems, but uh, we all have a problem, have some problems. We all have different, you know, struggles, and uh, in past, in the last months, in August, I saw in one place I saw, I I saw a really beautiful, really beautiful girl. She was like beautiful from. Uh, forehead to toe she had a great great figure she's a Ukrainian girl uh, and great face and I was I felt like envious inside of me and I was thinking how well how does it feel uh, interesting how to be this beautiful uh, and then I find out that she uh, her father died uh, I don't remember exactly but he I guess he killed himself and you know it's a great great tra tragedy and I think it never leaves you when something like that happens uh, so her image in my head it made it changed because I understood that she felt the same feeling through her life as I feel and of course your looks and uh, your looks they give you some benefits but it's not the first time that I notice that um, somehow your destiny finds a way to introduce you to uh, the darkest place of life without uh, 
how without place of life uh, that it, it doesn't matter how you look your destiny like I want to say that your destiny do not care how you look um, so I guess that's it right now so sad it's such a waste of time ah oh. <laughs> I didn't I didn't live up to that then and I still haven't lived up to that so it's good advice though it is a waste of time dude ah oh. it's ruined so many things that could have been amazing because I was sad yes you know she's she's telling uh, I had great moments in my life and we think that our um, inner emotions they it's logical that they came from our uh, from events from our life but sometimes it's not true at all sometimes really interesting things happen around you and in your head you understand that right now you have everything around to be satisfied and somehow your heart it doesn't want to get um, it doesn't want to let go of this feeling of unease because it's became so settled in this uh, in this bad place inside of you uh, and I experienced this too when uh, actually a lot of times and you really you really then regret and you know that you will regret that you didn't feel the moment but it's hard to uh, let go of your of of the air that in your in this cell in your head in in your heart i hope i i'm, I'm uh, taking my thoughts across properly if you don't understand me please please tell me i will try to explain better letting myself be mistreated for a long 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 time <laughs> i had no idea what the fuck was coming <laughs> no i'm handling the pressure horribly but i just keep it to myself all the time except my wall i write everything sad as shit, dude. Everybody I know that's an artist, we are sad motherfuckers. But I'll... You know, about sadness, it's not about only artists, of course, but I understand why she pointed out artists, because we feel that all these uh, flashlights and uh, all this bright life that they live, it makes them ha somehow immune to uh, what we are going through in our lives but uh, not only artists of course everybody said not and I'm really mm, I'm really curious if there any actual person in the world that feels satisfied most of the time and feels sad uh, for a little bit of time because all the, all, all the other people I see right now it's vice versa um, I'm sorry not vice versa it's, it's the opposite and but for when I say this I actually I remember that probably my father is this, is this man who lives like that because he has something in life that really important to him and he works toward it and he has no time to be un anxious about a lot of stuff so i guess there are people that exist like the, like it and we all should you know try to be more on the bright side uh, of course it's really hard so please tell me what you think about uh, billy eilish i'm sorry i'm running out of time uh, please tell me what you think about my accent uh, i will be appreciated for your advices and see you later with some other reaction videos. Bye!